Welcome back. Now that prior videos in this series have detailed all of the steps necessary for configuration of the data confirmation feature in the ARIES parent portal, this video will demonstrate the parent view of the data confirmation process. When a parent data confirmation window is open, a parent will see a banner across the top of the home screen when they log into the portal as you see here. The data confirmation forms can be accessed by clicking the link on the banner here, or it can also be accessed from the student info menu by then selecting data confirmation. When the parents enter the data confirmation page, a menu of tabs appears down the left side of the form. Each tab represents one page that the parent needs to review and complete. When a tab has been completed, a green check mark appears on the tab. When all tabs are complete, a finish and submit button will appear below the tabs. The Family Information tab is the first page that will display to the parents. Here they will be prompted to complete first the Military Survey and then the Residence Survey. To complete the surveys, parents will select one response for each survey. When the page is complete, selecting Confirm and Continue will advance the parents to the next tab. The Student tab will display fields and allow changes to fields based on the portal group field level security settings that were configured for the parent portal group. To make changes on this form, the parent will click the Change button at the bottom of the form and then make any needed adjustments. With the exception of the Address field, any changes that are made to fields on this form by parents will immediately update the same student data field in ARIES when the parent scrolls to the bottom of the form and selects Save. If the parent tries to change the address listed here, they will see a message indicating that changes to this information will not be saved in the system. An email will be sent to the data change email address indicating that it was attempted to change this residence address and from there the parent and school should follow local procedures for validating the address change. When the parent is done with this form they will once again click confirm and continue to advance to the next page. Now they will advance to the contacts page. Here parents can make changes to existing contacts, add new contacts, or delete existing contacts as allowed by the security rights that were given to the parent portal group. By clicking confirm and continue, the parent will then advance to the Medical History tab. Here, parents can add comments or adjust previous medical history entries, including adding comments or selecting that the condition no longer applies. At the bottom of the form here, parents can indicate additional medical condition information. When a condition is selected with the checkbox, fields appear allowing the parent to enter an effective date, the age of onset, the grade level, and any additional comments related to this condition. The Save button at the bottom or the middle of the form needs to be clicked to save any changes that were made by the parent. 
All changes to this page will generate an email to the address populated in the Change Medical Details email address field on the General Settings tab of the Parent Data Changing Settings. Next, the parents will confirm and continue and proceed to the Documents tab. Here, parents will be able to view any documents that have been posted. They can click on a document to download the document and then read it or print it. If the document was marked as required, then a checkbox check will appear here to the right that the parent needs to check to indicate they have read this required document. If a required document box is not selected and the parent selects confirm and continue, a red warning will then appear saying you cannot continue with this confirmation process until you re read and confirm all the documents listed on the tab. From there, the parent is reminded to go ahead and check those boxes that they have read the required documentation. Then they can click confirm and continue and advance to the next tab. Now the parent reaches the Authorizations tab, where they will review and allow and deny the various items that are listed here. Required responses for items are marked with a red asterisk. Section, selections need to be confirmed by selecting the Save button at the bottom of the form before the parent continues. Next, the parent will proceed to the Final Data Confirmation tab. They will be prompted here to confirm that the information on the previous tabs is correct and any other custom instructions that were defined in the general settings. The parent now can select Finish and Submit. The final confirmation page will now display with any final instructions that were defined and will also pr prompt parents to print the student emergency card if that setting was configured. When the parent selects this button, an emergency card will pop up in a new tab in the browser with all of the updated information that the parent provided any custom text that was configured by the school in the general settings, and a signature line at the bottom of the form. Parents can return to this data confirmation section and update additional information or reprint this emergency card after the process has been completed as long as a data confirmation window is still open. Now that the parent process for data confirmation has been demonstrated, the subsequent videos in this series will focus on tasks for school site staff to monitor and access data from parent data confirmation submissions.